hello, my fellow car mallers. How are you doing today? So I uh, just wanted to show you guys something I got in the mail yesterday, and I'm going to give it a try here for the first time. So I thought I'd do a quick video on this. Uh, the neat thing about this is I've been seeing it all over the Facebook groups. This neat little device. It kind of was something I always had in my head that would be cool to have. But at first when I saw it, I was thinking, eh, it's an, I think it's just a gimmick. Nice. I, I think people feel like they're doing something cool. Whatever. As I got to thinking about it, when I was working on a chassis like this Salvino's JR uh, stock car chassis for the Mountain Dew Monte Carlo that they just came out with, and hopefully I can get this car done and a build video out on it. <laughs> I keep showing you guys this, but I'm not getting very far as you can see. But, you know, you got to do work on the bottom and stuff, and uh, you kind of... Uh, just lay it down sometimes it's it, you can ruin things with having it upside down you want to do work on there or you want to tilt it whatever so why not like real car restorations if you had like a rotisserie so i said what the heck i'm gonna go get this thing because it seems like a cool idea these guys are smarter than me instead of me poo-pooing off thinking eh it looks cool it's just a gimmick so i bought me one of these and what this is and i got a some assembly required so we'll put it together but i got it off of amazon for like 12 or 13 bucks it is uh something that you put circuit boards in and then you can work on them and you can tilt them and uh, a lot of guys who are just a heck of a lot smarter than me on the facebook groups have been buying these and using these for their models and uh let's uh, put it together and give it a try what do you say so real quick they got the screws in the bottom so i gotta take the, the screws out it was packaged very nice it was in a really tight box everything was all real nice and packed well i just didn't think about doing an unboxing i just wanted to put it together and give it a try right here in front of you guys so yeah so let's uh go ahead and it's pretty self-explanatory everything fits nice together so we'll go ahead and Pop the screw there. This is probably really fun for you guys to watch. Hey, you wanted me to build, do a build video. Here you go. Here's your build video. Thing all together. I now we'll put the other leg on here. I'm really looking forward to trying this out. Wrong tool. All right, so I got it all in there. Let's just give a quick tightening. Make sure everything's tight. And uh, there we go. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. But you get the whole gist of it. This slides for the proper size and things tighten down. And uh, it's fully adjustable to... Looks like you can fit a pretty good size 25th, 24th scale model car in here. I don't think it's going to help you on the bigger scales. It will help you on the smaller scales, obviously. But, uh, yeah, it's totally adjustable. Like I said, this thing is a lot bigger and heavier duty than I thought it was. This is all steel right here. It's like a steel rectangular tubing. It's got nice. It's really very nice. The plastic doesn't seem to be chintzy. So let's take this and let's see how we would do this. So if it's, because it kind of has a, let's go like that. Yeah, kind of has a hold right there. And you kind of got to be careful. And if you do that and just kind of grab a hold of it like thus. And yeah, it's kind of tricky actually. It just doesn't want to work for me too well. There we go. Once you get it all kind of together. Boy. Yeah, it holds pretty well. This spring-loaded feature right here seems to not have... Um, just so you get a look at the whole thing. The spring-loaded feature right here, let's do that. If you just kind of have this set right where we need it, get these two little twisties tightened down, 
so that this doesn't move like this anymore and we go ahead and just kind of use the spring loaded feature it's not it's it, it's pretty soft spring it's not really putting a lot of pressure on your chassis and look at that and we can go totally around that's pretty cool it seems that for some reason the way that way the spring is i noticed because of the spring it kind of binds when you're trying to go this way so but the other way it completely goes around and doesn't bind up so yeah okay this is pretty cool we got ourselves a like like the big shops a little rotisserie for your model cars that can be very handy now for working on the chassis and felix felix was handing me a piece but that that's pretty cool so now you know we've got pretty easy access to our models it moves very nice and holds in place and you can lock it down once you get it in place you got these little thumb screws here that you can lock it down so it doesn't move on you and look at let's get that locked down see what happens and yeah it's pretty 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 solid right in there so it's easy to work on so there you go heck you know like i said you can find them on amazon um this one i picked up like i think it was 12 or 14 dollars shipped i got it in a matter of a couple days you know that's typical i see them on ebay and a lot of other places but you know i just thought i'd pull the trigger kind of was thinking about it i've seen a lot of guys been using these and they're just really neat so i uh I, it's definitely going to get the Luca C seal of approval. And that's about it. So, um, thanks for watching. I hope that's really helpful for you. Um, just uh, go build model cars. Why? Well, because <laughs> they're fun. That's why. And keep on gluing those fingers together and keep cutting that styrene. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.